profile. I'm Gary Dunn. I have a really special friend, long time friend with Mr. Markey. Some people say Demarchi, but I know it's Demarchi. Correct. Um, how well are you done. tonight, Dino? I'm great. <laughs> I can't I believe you, you just said Dino. Yeah. Well, you hate me saying that. I remember you oh, used, used to punch me. Yeah. Don't call me Dino. Yeah, but, but that's just between you and me. Yes, and now everyone else knows. It was a band name. Yes. You know, everyone has an animal name. Yes. You've got one too. Don't say it. Um, so where were you born? I was born in Hollywood Hospital yeah. in Perth. And WA. So what yep. was the moment that that made you think, well, I'm going to be a singer? Uh, look, we grew up in a household where our mother was an amazing singer and we yeah. thought everyone's mum could sing like that. So we just all sang, you know, I mean, mum was just the biggest musical influence on mm. all of us. And she was very, I wouldn't say overly pushy, but she very much encouraged us to all sing and yeah. we all just found harmonies and we just, you know, it was like one of those, yeah. you know, it wasn't the uh, gospel church thing, yes. but it was our household was full of yeah. uh, singing. You had a cherry household because I remember Karen up road and yep. well, it was very go happy. there and yeah. always a yeah, happy family and, yeah, and your brother Steve, such yep. a nice guy. And He's a lovely guy, yeah. you know, we're, very, we're still all really close. Yeah. We're very, very, very lucky family. Mm. Yeah. Because I know Janelle and Pete and yep. Candlelight like Music, of yep. course. And You're part of well, the family. You know. <laughs> Be nice. <laughs> okay, I'm, I, I'm always nice. Yes, seriously. you are. Yes, so you are. <clears throat> the first band for you was The Kind? It was. I mean, I'd been singing for years. I mm. started playing classical guitar at eight years old mm. and I was always playing guitar and, you know, in competitions of Steadfords, all that. Mm. and singing in pubs and taverns and that, but I hadn't been in a band. Yeah. And Susie and I saw this ad in the paper and it said looking for two backing singers. Mm. Pinky Hayes had put the ad in. Yeah. <laughs> and she <laughs> rang up and she said, listen, we're the DeMarkey sisters. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Susie and Denise DeMarkey. Yeah. And he basically went, okay, okay. Yes. <laughs> you know, so we joined the band and yeah. that's when I met. You know, Diesel was on guitar, Mark yeah, Lazotte yeah. then, he wasn't Diesel then. Yeah. And Yak on drums and Boyd, yeah. um, who was from the Fingerprints and Dean from the Frame. Yeah. So I was pretty, very naive about the band scene. I didn't know mm. anything about it. And that was my first band. And I went, oh, this is good. Because I remember <laughs> I think you were living good. in Leaderville. Yes. When, yeah. when we were hanging out together and Susie mm. and I were recording and stuff like that. But yep. yeah, because you weren't in any bands then. And no. I think I used to babysit. Nikki. My, I, had, I was a single mum, then yes. I was a very young mum, yeah. and I had a little girl who was yeah. amazing, he's, she's yeah. my best friend, um, yeah. yeah, and everyone loved her, she was the easiest kid in the world, yeah. lucky me, and she used to come to all the sound checks and yeah. have her little headphones on, and yeah, yeah it was, it's funny, isn't yeah, it? it's all so, one week. Yeah. You married Boyd Wilson. Uh, I did. The kind, I married obviously. a fingerprint. Yeah, a fingerprint. Yeah. <laughs> Still got an I didn't eye know. there. No, no, no. There. I didn't right. I that <laughs> <laughs> no, he. You know, I mean, I didn't know anything really much about the fingerprints. I was not allowed to go and see them because there's too many people at their gigs, I and I was underage. So yeah. I, you know, I was going to pubs with my older sister Janelle. Yeah. And, but we weren't allowed to go and see the fingerprints because there was, mum was scared we'd get crushed. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe but I, 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 I didn't know much about the fingerprints, but um, yeah. Boyd was a very prolific writer and he was very, you know, keen to do lots of recording. So, you know, we got, you know, I got to meet him through Susie actually. Yeah, you yeah. know, we started doing some backing vocals up at, um, through Kevin Peake and yep. Trevor Spencer and... What was that studio called again? What did they call it? Um, it was called Tracks. Tracks, that's right. Correct. Thank you, producer. On the ball. He knows everything. Yeah. So, yeah, because yeah. I remember going there with Susie and recording um, some yeah. stuff that we'd been writing. Oh, look, we were up yeah. there three or four times a week mm. up in Rolly Stone. Mm. That's right. In, in the barn. We drive all yep. that back way up there. And we did hundreds and hundreds of recordings mm. and jingles and I learnt so much from yep. Kevin and Trev. I mean, they were, to me, I mean, I, I grew up listening to Sky mm. and Kevin Peake was mm. this iconic guitarist. And he was a great He guitar was, player. and I used to sit and play dueling bandos <coughs> with him. And Trevor um, yeah. Spencer, like, he was Trev. in that... Dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun, I mean, he was Cliff was Richard's drummer. Yeah. 
He was Cliff's right. drummer, yeah. and he was um, Paul Young's drummer. Do and you still see? Yeah, Trev and I. Call, he calls me every now and then when nice he's had guy. a. Oh, he's nice. the most beautiful guy. Yeah. Kev's unfortunately gone, and he yeah. had a bit of a you know messed up. Yeah. <sighs> era yeah, there. Yeah, spent time but in jail, didn't he? And he did, stuff. and I don't know anything about that side of it. All I know is that he was an absolute um, inspiration nice yeah, to me, yeah. and yeah. I got to work with people, like there was people in the studio and recording and stuff that I didn't even really understand who I was working with. It was Herbie Flowers and there was mm. Rick Wakeman, and you know, all these people were coming working in the studio, and we'd go and put backing vocals on. Yeah. You know, and I didn't even know who I was working yeah. with. And I, I do now, you yeah. know, but it was um, a level that hadn't been seen in Perth before. Yeah. And yeah. they brought that with them, you know, and I'm forever grateful. So I remember yeah. when with Carl Pink and um, we were yeah. trying to get a band together. And then I think you went to Sydney with Boyd and became the Living Daylights. We did. Well, yeah. We did a showcase in Perth. There was a lot of um, record companies coming to Perth at the yeah. time and we used to do showcases and we did one at the Herdsman and um, it, it was just we put all these original songs together because, yeah. you know, we were trying to get the record deal, yeah. which everyone was then. Yeah. And we got um, invited to go and do a, um, a whole recording session, like a, a whole mini sort of album of demos in at Albert Studios in Sydney, wow. which was yeah. the iconic Alberts. Yeah. And, you know, met Ted Mulry and, and um, Did all, he ask all, you all to those jump guys. In his car? No, he no? didn't. I said, <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no. For a while. But, but, you know, <laughs> I, I got introduced to this engineer, Kevin yeah. Shirley. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he had not even met Susie at the time. Yeah. And he ended up doing her first mm. album with her. Yeah. But we did all our demos with Kevin. He was this amazing South African yep. genius. Um, and honestly, we he I learned so much. And I'm so glad that I got to do all this cool. stuff, you know. Yeah. And he was, um, he taught me, you know, I was lying down on the ground. <laughs> Don't terrible. tell us that story he about said, it when you were lying down on the ground. He said, now, you know, that blouse <laughs> is making too much noise. <laughs> <laughs> Take it off. No, he didn't. Take it off. Someone yeah. else said that. Yes, it wasn't me. But, you know, he used to say, me. you know, I'm not getting enough openness in your uh, mm. chest. And all that. I'm going, yeah, okay. He goes, lie down. And, and I did. I lied. I was lying down in the recording studio. Yeah. And open this. that chest. And I learned, and now I teach kids to do, if you're not, yes. you're not feeling your chest open, lie down and sing yeah. on your back. Isn't that And it's such a great thing. Things. And then stand up and get the same feeling. And, oh, okay. Yeah. Because it, it is a real trick, yeah. you know, and you have to learn all these things and they're all natural things. But it's you great know? that you learn oh, from I learned it him from someone that learned yeah. it from someone else. Yeah, that's, that's right. how we all learn, you know. Yeah, cool. That's yeah. a really great story. So um, you got signed by Virgin Records, ultimately. We did. Um, managed by Andrew McManus. And yep. Um, Andrew McManus was Divinal's manager. Yep. Um, and we wanted, uh, we wanted to get a real, you know, hardcore manager because we weren't mm. we didn't we didn't know how to sort of do the industry that way you know and we we knew we needed someone tough and we got someone mm, we got a really bulldog tough. <laughs> yeah I, I mean we're still friends these Careful days you, wish you know for. <laughs> yeah but um at the time we we didn't really know how we mm. were going to go about it you had a top 10 single as well we I did remember. we did um we had a top 10 mm. and it wasn't so much in perth Although I remember yeah. Gary Shannon used to play us at drive yeah. time all the time. Yeah. But we released our, you know, Naturally was our first single that went top 10. And um, it was more over east and yeah. um, up in Brisbane and um, South Australia. Yeah. Not so much Perth. I don't know why, but yeah. whatever. Um, but we, we were uh, touring with the Divinals. We yeah. toured. Powderfinger was supporting us. Ivy Davies as well. And Ivy Davies sort of, yeah. um, did our first single production yeah. and um, Mark McEntee from yeah. Divinals. So I was working with really inspirational people that I'd grown up idolising. I, I saw Mark the other week in Angitel. Oh, really? <laughs> what a character. chicken farm. Yeah. Whoa, he's yeah. Adam Sandler. Bentley and, you know, like <laughs> in he's the middle a, of Angitel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's an amazing, yeah. amazing creature. Yeah, you know, and guitar yeah. player. Extraordinary. Oh, extraordinary. And, yeah. and funny. Very funny. So you 
toured Japan as well because you had a, the, we one did. of your singles went pretty high there, didn't it? Well, um, EMI Toshiba came to Australia and took three acts with them. Yeah. One of them was us, the other one was Diesel, and there was um, mm. uh, Euphoria. Euphoria? Yeah. yeah, there was two girls and a guy. Yeah. And they were all signed to the Japanese label, Toshiba, and mm. we went up there and toured and had a number one up there, which was, yeah. oh, it was amazing. We yeah. toured and we were, you know, on every radio station, TV show, and we did, it was just Boyd and I went yeah. um, and did everything acoustic live to air. So. Yeah. It was, we worked our asses mm. off and, yeah. and it worked, you know, it's a different market up there. It's not like you kind of have to have a hit somewhere else in the world to make yeah. the, but it was amazing. And mm. the uh, Japanese people are forever my friends. <laughs> yeah. They were beautiful and I, I loved them. They were so funny. Uh, yeah. Their humor is yeah. gold. I've yeah. never been to Japan, but one place oh. I always wanted to go for, just for the food alone. Oh, the food is the best food yeah. you'll ever eat in your life. Yeah. And it's, it's great in winter. The skiing is amazing. Yeah. But we went there in springtime with the cherry blossoms. and mm. It was amazing, yeah. So uh, you came back to Perth in 95? We did. We came back and we, you know, our record company had gone under, um, sadly. So we didn't actually release our album in Australia. Mm. And we had a good crack. You know? Yeah, and so you would like and that close as well with yeah, that, weren't look, you? We, d we did, um, but we came back to um, Perth and I wanted to work with young acts and you sort of pass on the baton, you know, mm. and, and and we um, started doing, uh, I started working with a lot of the talent schools and, and kids and, and we got a few acts that we were recording and stuff like that. And we were also doing lots of still recording with jingles and stuff like that and started working with um, Keith Potka from The Seekers mm. in at Shaboom. And we were, I was working with Gary Taylor in that and we were working on um, The Seekers' new mm. album. And Boyd wrote the title track with Keith and I was doing all the Judith demos, you know, it was Judith Durham oh, uh, cool. demos. Oh, yeah. I can't but, help myself. Oh, yeah, it was <laughs> no great. name dropping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we they ended up getting the title track for the album yep. and Keith was the patron for Variety WA. I'd never worked, had knew nothing about Variety. I was doing a lot of productions in Perth, the city of Perth, uh, Nativity, which 5,000 people come every yep. year to watch this Nativity and I was producing that and I had a choir that I was running mm. and Keith asked me to do a show with Variety with these special needs kids. And so how long, what, what, what year was that? Um, about 97. So yeah, I'd been back in I'm Perth. I'm math, that's 21 years ago. 20 years You're ago. You're still doing yeah. Variety Club now. I am. You? But but the way it happened was um, we did one show with these kids and I went, these kids are amazing, you know, and they'd, they were... They had special needs, you know, yeah. there, was, there was disability and there was kids with, um, you know, and I'd never been around um, that sort of um, extreme adversity yeah. and uh, and I just felt this, it, I just, my life opened up, yeah. like, and all this stuff that I'd learnt, I was just pouring on these kids yeah. and I put it together into this choir with Boyd at the time and we were just, it was like... Yeah. Uh, the most amazing experience ever and it grew into this the variety youth choir which is now um 20 years down the track and well, 50 strong we had 12 kids at the start mm. now you know we two, do two things that reminds me of was mm. one i think i did a corporate gig with our generation and the choir was we supported yeah, yeah and then yeah. we and because there was a lot of people with disabilities and stuff mm. like that and we said you know denise you know, mm. get up on stage and you came up on oh, stage that's right. and sang. Yeah, you couldn't and get me off like, then. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we couldn't get you <laughs> off, but that was fine. And then <clears> recently <throat> I went to Roger Waters' concert at, um, Correct. at the, you yeah. know, the arena. It's, I've got to say, it's the best concert I think I've ever seen in my life. It was. And Jackie and was messaging me. And the kids were the kids. kids. We were the brick in the wall kids. Brick in the wall. It was so uh, amazing. And we've done that twice. Yeah. So they asked us to come back. The, yeah. That was the second time we've done the Roger Waters yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. It was just It unreal. was amazing. Was, you know, Jackie's going, well, there's Denise, there's Denise. <laughs> well, there's Denise. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it was amazing. amazing. And he's a mate now, Roger Waters. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, yeah. just great concert. Yeah, what a it nice... was amazing. And yeah. the kids, I said, now, I know you don't know who Pink Floyd are. And the week before we did the show, I said, you need to go and learn who this is. Yeah. And they all came in and they were like, oh, my God. Yeah. What a great band. Yeah, yeah, it mm. was amazing. It's inspirational, isn't it, for you to see all of that. I grew to up develop. listening to yeah. you know, have a cigar, you know. Yeah. It have was... you got one? No, I you haven't. Can't light That's it up right. here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you've worked with Adam Brand, Kevin Bloody Wilson. Yeah, so I mean, you know, like... all, of the, all of the session jobs in Perth, we had a good yeah. crack at. Adam Brand's first demos were in Perth with Martin Jenner. Yeah. It was brilliant. He player. was. He's yeah. God rest his soul. Um, yeah. But he did in his in his house, and we did the vocals in the bathroom. <laughs> he had the microphone in the mm, bathroom. Great reverb. And Adam, he was just a young yeah kid, and he di he didn't really know. And we were doing all the backing vocals. We're going. Oh, what about try this? You know, it was so organic and beautiful. Mm. And and now he's like you know. Yeah. Tamworth King, you know. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Hank Marvin. Hank a Marvin. Beautiful person. Yeah. I remember him walking into the studio yeah. one day at Shaboom and we were recording something for, oh, oh, we were doing demos for everyone, you know, mm. um, and boy just get, oh, Hank, just come in and play on this. <laughs> Hank just walked mm. in and started playing on it and we were going, oh, how cheeky are we? And, yeah. You know, whatever. I had Alan McCowart sitting in the chair. A while ago, and he tells a story how Hank he heard a knock on his door, and he opened oh, yeah. the door, and there's Hank Marvin, right? yeah, you know, Jehovah's. Yeah, he's a Jehovah's, Jehovah's witness, witness, very passionate, and you know he gave us all a Bible. Oh yeah, we all got our Bible. Yeah, yeah. 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 I helped develop his late mm. sense of pickups when I went to Cosmic, and and yeah, he gave me a Bible as well. And, oh, and know. he's still, you know, he's he's very um, private. Yeah, person. absolutely. Um, Brigadoon, Doon, I think he was living then. Yeah. I don't know where he <laughs> hangs out. Sorry? <laughs> Tell people where he lives. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but I'm not giving the address. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's a lovely man. Yeah. 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 Mm. Alan Tarney? Alan Tarney. I got to record with him. We did some... Cliff. Cliff, I... Well, Alan Tarney is mm. Cliff's yeah. man, man. He does all the production yeah. and backing vocals and everything. And he and Trev had a duo called mm. Tarney Spencer. And yeah. And that's mm -hmm. the song I was doing before. Dun, 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 yeah, dun, dun. that's right. I can't remember what it was called, but I used to play the goals. And, yeah. yeah used to, with Redmond. And, yeah. And, yeah uh, we used to jump up there with you yeah. every now and then. Yeah, I know. I remember one night Susie and I both got up with Debauchery. Steph. It was not oh, was Demarchy, it was it Debauchery. debauchery. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I called it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I remember. I won't when, go any further. Uh, Dave Gleason, <laughs> even uh, Dave from uh, Screaming Jets. Yeah, he was like yep. standing on the table with his shirt off, going, "Come on!" I know. With the bounces and oh my like, God, it's just madness. I know. It's just crazy stuff. But, you know, we were young and wild and yeah, free. Yeah. Rick Wakeman, Gary Taylor. Gary we, Taylor. We played um, in. Um, yeah. Da -da 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 -da, didn't yeah. He played oh. the bass line in Baker Street. Yeah. And he played. Didn't you hear oh. that? Da -da 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 -da. I was doing the sex. He did. Yeah. yeah. That's the bass line. <laughs> yeah. No one heard the bass line. No. Was, no right. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the best bass line. Yeah, yeah. But Gary and I had a duo together. And we you all had, duo, we had a yeah. band together called Works Like a Wheel for a little yeah. while. And that was great fun. It was Gary, Trevor. Yeah. Um, Spencer, Boyd and I, yeah. and um, Great band. Martin Jenner yeah. on guitar. And we just played classic hits. And did, did he do something on s s s s Single Gary Bed? Gary was Single Bed. He's Single Bed. <laughs> he's <laughs> yeah, anything low. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Fun yeah, he's, he's a wonderful mm -hmm. musician. And yeah. He lives in Perth. You know, he's yeah. still working with Hank. Wow. So the, the beauty of the the connection with Kevin and Trev was that they, all these people came yeah. and it was a little community and yeah. we were lucky enough to be part of it. And I'm oh, so great. Yeah. Wonderful. So stuff. grateful yeah. that it happened. And, yeah. 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 It's a band called Works Like a Wheel. Yeah. That was good fun. Yeah. yeah. We and just did local gigs. Yeah. We played at the Newport and, and Why not? no one knew who was in the band no. and you know. Was this good fun? And it was great fun. Yeah. 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 They yeah. knew it was good, but they didn't, we were pretty old. Well, they were old. I wasn't old then. So you supported <laughs> Fleetwood Mac as well? I did. You? Cliff Linton, um, that was a connection years ago. Yeah. He 
I got asked to be one of the backing singers in this band called The View. Mm. And Cliff was the guitarist and he said, oh, we what just... What a great guitar player. Oh, he's wonderful. I'm in a band with him now. I know. And we were I talking know. about that earlier. That's great. And that's like 20 years down the track and we've yeah. met up again. But we did the support for Fleetwood Mac at the Ent Centre and oh, I just could have died the next day and been happy. Yes. You know? <laughs> it was Mick Fleetwood came back and he was... Because I used to wear a little top hat and a tutu in the band and cowboy boots and I sort of was channeling Stevie Nicks my whole life pretty yeah, much yeah. when I was younger. I adored her. And then to support her, it was yeah. in your hometown. It was pretty amazing because yeah. they had to have local content in the support bands yeah. then. They don't so What was much. amazing was when I interviewed Terry Addison, he was, mm. uh, I think he was with Born in Music or oh, yeah. he had to, because I think they toured Japan after Paul McCartney got done for drugs so they couldn't take any drugs oh, to Japan. yeah. yeah. They were like ringing Australia saying, yeah. like, get whatever yeah. you can because they're coming and they're, <laughs> they're hanging out. And oh Terry walks God. in with a big brown paper bag. For and, Fleetwood Mac? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And to the hotel at the Sheraton and apparently knocks on the door, you know, the oh. security lead him through and, and the hand comes out and just grabs the bag. And it was Mick going. Could have been Mick. No, it was. Yeah. But he, he told it. Yeah, so it would have been coming like from gossiping. a very high height. I know I gossip sometimes, <laughs> but I'm definitely not gossiping about that. <laughs> well, I didn't see that. But it's just funny, yes. Yeah, so. yeah I, did, I did have a little bit of a tear when I saw Stevie because she wasn't in a good way. No, no. And I did think, <gasps> Yeah. because I adored her and then yeah. she was not, Yeah. she was in going through a bad period in her life. Yeah. She's, you know, out of that now, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, well, rock and roll, isn't it? So, rock and roll. So you're back together now with Clint, Cliff in uh, Cliff, Pretzel I'm and Logic? Just, I'm just doing a, 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 a new thing with... Um, a great I've, band. I've never done, they are amazing. Oh. And I've never um, really listened to Steely Dan before. Oh, just so wonderful. And I didn't realise there was no female lead no, vocals. <laughs> definitely not. But, but you're, I'm sure what you a challenge, the backing vocals, because every, every mm. time we... We rehearse. It's like it's a real, you know. It's a jazz, they're, and they're, they're so pure there's a about lot of it. Jazz, in it's that jazz rock. Rock, yeah. But but they're so their their hooks and everything are mm. so pop. Yeah. Like they're so hooky. Um, mm. um, so it's so just a new experience for me mm. and musically because they've got so so much of a back catalogue yeah. of music to learn and yeah. you know um, I only knew the hits. You yeah. know, so now I'm learning all these other songs and I love it. So you're still obviously mm. doing the variety, 30 shows a year with all uh, the kids. Yeah, we're still doing that. I'm, I'm in a couple of, I'm in a little three-piece acoustic because I want to do... Who's that with? Um, Mark Donoghue from The Frames oh, and Chuck yeah. Hargraves. Oh, cool. Yeah, and we're just doing this little fun right. side thing. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah. and I've done a couple of gigs recently just with um the murphy's courtney and yeah um we did one gig and we got about eight gigs out of it <laughs> so <laughs> i thought oh yeah we'll do a few of those yes. so, but it's that's been really good fun right. yeah so um i i'm just really enjoying doing gigs again because i haven't done band gigs for a while just uh, the odd corporate thing so what was the catalyst why you lost that Oh, look, the, the, the choir it? pretty much took over all my performance yeah. time because it's all weekends and evenings and it was so yeah. busy. Yeah. Like, it's not quite as busy at the moment because there's not a lot of corporate gigs around mm. as, as much now because of the financials. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm still doing probably about 20 shows a year with the choir and they're all weekends. So, um, mm. but I'm, I'm determined to do a little bit more live work because yeah, I love it. Good for you. Yeah. Cause, That's yeah. great. And yeah. same, I, I think I said about 18 months ago to myself, because mm. um, I nearly sort of gave up, if you like it. Well, but you I, get a bit gonna, burnt, yeah. you know. I'm going to take every opportunity that comes along. And I love it again. And you careful know? what you wish for. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because, yeah, but, now I'm so know, busy. But. The variety thing's been great. I, I mean, I was part of the um, lining up the acts for their big events out yep. in the bush and I, you know, I rang Diesel and I said, look, we're doing El Questro. Yeah. And I flew him up there and he came and did this amazing show on a campfire sort of situation and he just, an acoustic guitar it just, and, no, it was him and two other guys yep. and they did this acoustic set and it was 
unbelievable. Yeah. It's the best I think I've ever seen him. He's yeah. dancing on the tables and, oh, cool. you know, and, and then I got uh, Becky Cole came and did something at the Bungle Bungles. And wow. so through my connections, I was really valuable in bringing people to the cool. events, you know, and they did them for a really good price. So yeah. it made money for the kids. So, yeah. you know. That's great, isn't it? It when was you, great. And I help. Yeah. The, anything yeah. like that. It's valuable. Give something. You know? mm. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like you've learned that later on in life? or? Is yeah. It... And I appreciate it now. Yeah. You don't at the time. Because no. you just, I don't know what I'm doing. No, you know? I'm, I'm the same. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just help anyone I can yeah. now. Whereas and say yes to years, everything. Have... That's what I tell the kids. Not yeah. everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> say yes. If someone offers you a show, just say yes and you can work it out you later. Work it but it's out. no good. Exactly. That's just, what we just do. Go, now. Oh, I won't do that again. Yeah. But you don't know where something's going to take mm. you. So yeah. that's the one thing I've learned is don't say no, just have a crack. Mm. Yeah, I get calls. That's what I'll say on my tombstone. Have a crack. Have a crack. <laughs> oh, look, I've, that's for later. I've got to ask you that I know. For later. I just <laughs> know. But now, I, same. I just mm. say, yep. And because there's, yeah. you know, there's 20 or 30 musicians you and can And you don't know go, who you're going to meet. Yeah, who's. Exactly. Who's available on that night, and it creates it a different thing. Leads to things. That's and then, what. Oh, do we have to rehearse? And no, we'll just wing these songs, and and that's exciting. That is exciting. Yeah. This is winging. It's so exciting. I don't know. You know, <laughs> that gig we did, I did with Courtney. He goes, "We're going to do Africa." Yeah. <laughs> but Toto, and I'm going, okay. And he just started playing it, and I'm finding them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Africa. I'm yeah. finding all these harmonies. Never sung it before. Mm. I knew it, but yeah. I didn't. And it was great. Yeah. People went crazy. Yeah. You know, they're, they're the moments. And, and you it's go, good when oh, I'll never everyone comes that. together, like when we did the pub legends thing at the Charles. And that was amazing. You just get to that work with all these people that, yes. that yeah, you, you and, knew, but you didn't. Well, we'd all been on stage at different times yeah. in different bands, but we'd not all played together. Yeah. And that was it's great. It's camaraderie, isn't it? It was so much fun and yeah. so much respect. Yeah. You know, it was really good. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah. Raising money for um, good causes. Mm -hmm. um, so you re re you have recorded with your more famous sister. Can you tell me about that? Um, oh, we've done a few, <sighs> done lots of things together. Susie actually came and did some recording when we were doing demos with me. Um, we were doing stuff and I've done stuff with her and um, we did a charity album in Perth. We did um, While My Guitar Gently Weeps yep. together and I, we actually recorded it in, in LA with Nuno, yep. her, her husband at the time. Yep. And yeah. Was, How is Nuno? Is he? He's yeah, great. Yeah. yeah well, everything's all good. Yep. Yeah. Everyone's happy. Yep. Yeah. I met him. He, I worked with a company called CMI, and I met him because uh, uh, he was a Nuno Betancourt guitarist. Yeah. Yeah. They said Washburn. Well, band, so. they were here recently he's too, and we went and saw yeah. him and had hung out with him and. I've recorded, he came in, we wrote, wrote songs together and he, right. him and my daughter, Nikki, mm. recorded a song together and it, it went on the um, music soundtrack for Smart People, yeah. you know, Sarah Jessica Parker. So is Nikki yeah. singing much or? Nikki is, she's a very prolific songwriter and singer and wow. she's been singing for years. Her husband yeah. was in that Meal Tickets movie. Oh, right. yeah, That's yeah. Ben. Yeah, That's yeah. my son-in-law. Okay. Yeah, so she's cool. in that movie as well. So. Yeah, I mean, it's in the blood. Grandkids? Two little yeah. boys, yeah. yeah, Sonny and Kit. How old uh, are they? Uh, five and two, or six and three. How is it being a grandparent? It's the best thing ever. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. It's so good, and I'm, I'm glad I'm... Hunts. I'm young enough to run around with them, you yeah. know? I'm glad yeah. Nikki didn't wait too long, because yeah. they are the just... Oh, yeah, they awesome. just... They make... They turn you back into a kid. Well... They, it's the best part of parenting. You just, oh, yeah, you have all the fun stuff and then you go, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not so no, lucky in my joint. Oh, we no. Got, well, I we do got have... got 22 days yeah. in a row coming up soon. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. really? Yeah. 22 days? Yeah. Well, okay. Bridget's married to a, a, He's a, a world a BM, champion. BMXer, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. yeah. And uh, so we've got a couple of world championship races. So, yeah, yeah we'll do it. No problem. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I hope this yeah. goes on after that. Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> so um, I'll ask yeah. you a few questions. What was the first concert you went to? Do you remember that? Oh, look, I have to say it was Sherbet. Sherbet? Yeah. How's that? It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was great. You know, yeah. I was like, I was in love with the drummer, Alan Sandow. Yeah. He had the arms. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, but... but he was a yeah. like short, stocky guy, wasn't he? He was a powerhouse. Powerhouse, oh, yeah. okay. I don't know. Never met him. Oh, bummer for you, <laughs> by the sounds of it. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> Lucky him. <laughs> what was your earliest influence by a musician or band, you think? Um, well, my mother, yeah, for sure. Um, she was amazing, amazing singer. Um, she she just left us recently. She did. She? Yeah. Both parents last year. Yeah, yeah. We had a tough year last year. Yeah, but they're you know they're dancing together up there. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Good. Um, but probably the Beatles, I would say, okay. musically, because they were just so so much of them in my mm. life. Yeah. You know, growing up. So other jobs throughout your life. Uh, um, I've always had another little steady job yeah. because I've a uh, muso. Mm, yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> and I was a single mum, so I yeah. always had to have a, um, a regular income. So I worked for Bank West for years, yeah. just always part time. They, they just put their rates up. Oh, oh don't. No, I won't talk about that. <laughs> can't help you out there. And now I'm just doing a little bit of health insurance for HPA. You know, I just, what do they make? 600 million in six months or something? Yeah, well. You Put know. the rates up. Yeah. I won't swear. It's going to make me swear. Sorry. Well, we can all swear at them. Mm. Um, I did. I worked at Zenith when I left school for yep. a little while. Um, just for a little while. Lionel and John. Lionel and John. Nice people. Very nice people. And, yeah, it was a, it was a beautiful little family in there yep. that I was part of. Um, yeah, I... Worked a little bit in hospitality. Oh, mm. I'm not going to talk about this. this no, just because <laughs> sub- this is not good. What's good is singing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> my, my main stay has always been music. Yeah. You know I mean, good for you. Yeah, You're it's always lucky been. Day. And I've been constantly singing since I was mm. 12 years old. Yeah. You know? And isn't it just great? It's the best you. joy. It's, yeah. it's the love. Yeah. yeah, it's great. You know, I often come home and and, and, you know, Jackie will say to me, how was the gig? And I'll just go, oh, God, you know. Just, you can't explain no. it. Because you're up there and you're on the... She often uh, says, well, I wish I could experience. Yeah. And she sees it in my yeah, eyes. And, she's, it yeah, it is. It is awesome. You know, yeah. I mean, I, uh, two months ago, Susie was doing a gig in Tasmania with the Red Hot Summer Tour. Yep. And I was watching Side of Stage and she was just really relaxed and the crowd was great. And she goes, Denise, and she called me up on stage and... I just went, it was such a natural thing to do, you know, and I just joined in, started singing and, you know, and it was so much fun. Yeah. And, you know, it didn't, it didn't phase me at all. And and then she goes, okay, get off now. Yeah, get off. (laughs) You've had your fun (laughs) now. That's what Mick Morgan used to say. You've had your fun now. Yeah, I think I stood in front of her. (laughs) (laughs) Can't do that. (laughs) No, we're very, very close we have, uh, have a great laugh, yeah. Yeah, no, you always were. So yeah. I remember I used to go out with a girl called Kelly Towers. Oh, I still Kelly. see Kelly. She's a yeah, friend of mine. Same. Yeah, and she's I, gorgeous. On Facebook. And because she was the first love of my life. Yeah, we're getting very in now. Yes, <laughs> just being personal. And she yeah. was the first love of my life. I know. And then, and then you know, Jackie was the second. Yeah. And then uh, a friend of ours had a 50th birthday, Jane Taylor, in Bali yeah. about four years ago. And they both were there. And they would have like, been great well, friends. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. great. I was taking snaps and, you know, both loves. Oh, my God. Together. It was it's so, so good. Great. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, this is not about me. Here I go. Um, okay. No. If, you were, if you were stranded on a deserted island. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you could only take one album with you, what, what album would that be? Two seconds. The Three. White Album. White Album. Mm. Wow, I've heard a few people say that. Yeah. Great album. Because it's got a lot of st- stuff on it. Mm. Yeah, I think. It was really out there too, wasn't it? Yeah. At the time. Yeah, I think. Mm. I'll change my mind in a minute. You, you can. It's okay. You're a woman. <laughs> rumours. Anyway. I'd love to take rumours as well. <laughs> I don't know whether it's right. I should say woman now. Political correctness. Oh, get over it. Stop. No. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I'm always in Yours trouble. Yours right in. I'm always in trouble. I'm so politically incorrect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we won't go there because it's another topic, isn't it? Yeah. We could crucify ourselves. Yeah, I'll get in trouble. Um, your favourite TV show growing up? Lost in Space on a Friday night. Wow. Fish and Chips. Fish and Chips. <laughs> wow. Catholic. Yeah. yeah. 
Friday night. Isn't that funny? Couldn't wait for Dad to get home and he'd bring fish and chips and it was lost in space. And we'd all sit there and watch it with him and, yeah. Great. It was great. Fantastic great. memories. Yeah, gold. Yeah, good yeah. on you. I, yeah, I really feel that. What? I love the new Lost in Space too. Do you? Awesome, I yeah. I haven't done much TV much. Oh, but. get that. Is it Will, Will Robinson still on there? Yeah, but it's really cool. Oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. So is it like a series or? Netflix. Get oh, okay, Netflix. I don't have Netflix. Get Netflix. Get I don't have time. Get it. Okay, I only have time for sport. Oh. Stuff like Open that. Open your mind, son. And music. <laughs> so, <laughs> You sound like my wife. So, <laughs> what unfulfilled She told me to say yes. <laughs> What unfulfilled ambitions do you have? Anything that you... Yeah, look, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing some really high-end backing vocals because I think that is something that is very underrated and is something I'm really good at. Mm. And I want to go and tour and do... Wow. I'm probably going to travel east and do... Good. Have a good crack at it. Because... I mean, Roger Waters, those yeah. two backing vocalists with him. They were amazing. And they got their spot in the oh, middle yeah. of that one. They were but just... they were working things out. We were at the sound yeah. check and they were working things out to fine tune. It's such a bloody oh, absolutely. great thing and it's such a fine art mm. and I want to do more of that. So I'm going to yeah. pursue that in, yeah. in the very near future. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a great football team, like West Coast Eagles. If it you is. Like, You've got to have your wingmen. Yeah, there's always someone that mm. doesn't get mentioned much. Um, yeah, you know, that, but it's it is like Brad such Shepherd, a is a halfback. Are you talking you about sport? Yeah, I'm talking about West Coast Eagles. But someone who contributes yeah. to the to making it amazing, but no one really. I sang their them anthem. Yeah. I'm the chick singer in the West and Coast Eagles. Yeah. We're flying. Ken Welder, I remember <laughs> yeah. all that. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing, wasn't yeah. it? Amazing. Still going. So I know they can't that. replace it. Yeah. Well, this show might even not go to air by the time. They probably won another flag. I know. 1994, 12 years to 2006. Because every time they win, they play the track. Yeah. So 1994, 12 years to 2006, I next know. premiership. It's going to happen. 12 years, 2018. So, I know. Anyway. Don't talk about it because then okay. you put the moz on it. Do you collect anything? Uh, no. Clothes and One shoes. legs or? Clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. Clothes and shoes. Yeah, I find it very hard to get rid of clothes and shoes. Handbag? Because I keep thinking they're going to come back in. No, I'm not a handbag no. person. No. Mm. Okay, so what would you put on your gravestone? I know you've already said that. <laughs> Have a good crack. Have a good crack. That's yeah. great. Really. Is there someone you haven't mentioned that you can think back now and think, oh, I didn't mention them? Or... Not really. Um, I. I'm just grateful for everyone that I've worked with and been a part of because they've just inspired me, everyone, yeah. including my sister and my family and, you know, all that. Yeah, it's, mm. it's a wonderful experience, the yeah. music industry. Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. And mm. is there something that Denise Dino... <laughs> Don't, you've done it. You've done it. Is there something that Dino could tell us but mm. no one really knows that... You want to share with us, or there's no pressure with that. You know, so. oh, no, I had a um, a very big uh, run in with the big C back Who's twelve the big C? cancer. Oh, okay. Twelve Sorry. years ago, so I had a little bit of a, a life wow. affirming experience. Yeah, I had ovarian cancer. Wow. And it was one of the worst and best things that ever happened to me because it, it it shook me, you know, and I had to. Um, face the, you know, the, the, all the most important things in my life. And it came down to very few things, you know, your family and, and the people you care about and you're just confronted with the fact of what you're going to lose. And, you know, I had a little six-year-old girl at the time, mm. Bonnie. Yes. Well, I didn't. So, but I'm here and I was very, very lucky they got it very mm. early. So, but yeah, those, those things in your life, uh, shift you, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it made me very positive and It's person. simple things in life mm. that are the most important, really. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. And, and money, all that stuff. And really. it all comes down to the, the people you love, really, because yeah. not much else matters apart from that. Yeah. You can lose all that, you know. Yeah. Hmm. Well. So there you go. Look, 
I'm lucky I'm here. And yeah. And we're lucky you're here. And <laughs> yeah. So lucky you come in tonight. And, yeah, I'm and grateful. Yeah, we're mm. grateful to have you and you're, you're always yeah. a wonderful and person. And get Sue Black in here. She'd have some stories. Yeah. You'd have to pull them out Trying. of her. Trying. I know. Just she's like, very, She's not that kind of person. No. But she's a gorgeous girl. Oh, absolutely. There's a few, you know. Jenny Wren. Yeah. She'd be good. Yep. Nola Duncan. No, I went to school with Nola. Oh, Nola's great. Yeah, she, she'd be a riot. Well, there you go. She's funny. She's Look, a good mate of mine. I'll we, talk her into it. Yeah, we need more girls on the show. Actually, well. you won't have to ask Nola twice. She'll come no, no, in. I can remember Nola <laughs> at school. Actually, in. she was pretty much out there. Oh. But that'd be funny. She's a gorgeous as well. girl. Yeah, so a more yeah. personal sort of thing. But mm. yeah, great. Look, Denise, Dino. <laughs> mate, Gaza. Ah, mate. Gaza. Gaza. Dino and Gaza. <laughs> Oh, so nice to have you yeah. here. Pleasure. Just a beautiful person uh, mm. and obviously a good friend. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing y your life with us uh, with music. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, darling. Um, tune in next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the profile on YouTube. Please like our videos, comment and let us know what you think and what, who you think we should interview. So www.theprofile.com.au You there, Stormy? Um, and thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, Denise. Pleasure. Just when I feel like coming round
At Procopy, we can transfer audio to CD, make CD, DVD and Blu-ray copies, transfer video to DVD, Blu-ray or HD, digitise slides and photos and supply custom USBs. You can see more details at procopy.com.au or call us on 08 9375 3902 for more information.